Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Amori. Hey Amori, looks like we reached the end of the road, literally. Looks like there's a long bridge. Whatever you do, don't look down. So, uh, last time we had some weird stuff happen, but we explored the underground. The underwater, even. Uh, and got to the end of this place. We were previously... Woof. We were previously in Deep Well, now we're heading to an area called Deeper Well. Fuck, that looks so cool. Um... Again, just as with the scene with Mari earlier, I noticed that this is a... Are we underwater? What's in those? Is it just water of a higher density? Wow, oh, just look at this place. So many cool plants. But Basil would have liked it. Basil, he would have liked it. Right, guys? Yeah, I'm sure he would have. Huh? What is it? Hey, I have a serious question. Do any of you remember what Basil looks like? Why do you ask that, hero? Let's see here. Basil. I was taking care of flowers and taking photos of his friends. Warm, calm, and gentle. Even when he's upset, he'll manage to smile. The rest is starting to get a little fuzzy. It's okay. Me too, hero. It's like I still miss him, but it's kind of hard to remember why. That doesn't change anything, right? Even if our memories aren't as strong as they used to be, we have to save him. Basil's our friend, and even more importantly, he needs our help. You're right, Aubrey. We've been apart from Basil for far too long. I'm sure we'll find him, as long as we have Omori to keep us on track. All this time, he's been waiting for us. He could be lost, lonely, or scared. I bet he could use a big hug right now. We're all together again. We should give him a big old hug. <laughs> nice to see you two get along so well. F uh, getting along so well for a change. I could hug the both of you right now. <laughs> Me and Kel get along. What are you talking about, hero? Stop being weird. Haha. <laughs> Lexi, too. I'm playing around. Hold on, Baza. We're almost there. I'll be together soon. Hmm. Hmm. Deep sea pizza. As we go, there's less and less things to interact with. Your memories are not free. To gain a memory, another must be shrouded. And yet all memories eventually fade. Perhaps you've already noticed the curse of Deeper Well. Hmm. So it's not just a matter of it's been so long since we've seen him. Or, uh, the fact that these all could just be, like, constructions of Omori. Parvenu, what if it's up to you? What if it's only up to you? Carry on, Dreamer. You're the only one who can. Absent. The universe is full of questions you'll never answer. Yet there are also ones that only you can answer. When the truth is revealed, what can you do? Well, we've reached the quintessential Act 3, time to get really weird part of a RPG. It is selfish to dream for so long when there are those who are expecting you. Isn't that right, Sonny? Decay. Time will always move forward. Eventually the truth will become clear. You know this well, don't you, dreamer? They're calling to me directly. 
not necessarily to Omori or even to Sunny, but to me, the player. Although they may be talking to Sunny. Leuchtjum. Hot. When trouble shows itself, there's always the choice to run. But one day you may very well find yourself running alone. There's a philosophical concept called the last choice, which is that you can always kill yourself. Really cheerful, I know. Cypher. The sun shined brighter when she was here. Mari, I assume. But maybe Aubrey. Anyway, yeah. It's very cheerful, but sometimes, yeah, that's the only choice. And sometimes it's in a self of, uh, it's an act of self-sacrifice. Which is a little more noble than just plain old suicide. You know, garden variety suicide. Mm-hmm. A long time has passed since you ventured this far. Deeper layers of his world open up as the dreamer grows more desperate. Even imagination is limited. Your questions I can answer. Answers you have forgotten. I will lay them out for you. If you are curious, you will choose. I hope this is the only one. He's not in this world. The day he was removed, he was born elsewhere. Reborn. He is special to you. A string of fate ties you two together. Like the red string of fate? He cannot leave that place alone. To retrieve him, you will have to remove yourself as well, but in a way natural for this world. For headspace. Journey's nearing its end. So, white space. White space is where Sunny goes and becomes Omori. Okay. Sonny is in Otherworld, or the real world. He dreams and goes to white space. White space empties out to headspace. And then in the runoff of headspace... In the runoff of headspace is black space. Which is where Basil is. We know this because of the, the thing that we figured out. Yeah, what the hell is the deal with that giant cat that we keep seeing? Before this world was created, there existed three great creatures. Oldest, the wisest, and the favorite. The oldest is still alive, but not the same as he once was. Age has removed his conscience, and he's evolved into a parasite within himself. He lives here, just beyond this cavern. The wisest, against her reason, committed an act opposed the dreamer's will. It is an act not even known to me. One moment. Sorry, water. All right. She was stripped of her wisdom and banished isolation, a special prison somewhere deep, deep down. The last in favor, the big yellow cat, was chosen to watch over the dreamer's most precious room. He remains the dreamer's favorite to this day, watching diligently, waiting for something to happen. So was the big yellow cat just like an aspect of Miwo? If we are to assume that we're playing as Sunny's persona is the one deep within that is still alive the shadow or perhaps is this an id ego situation Freud's full of shit but the id ego and super ego are interesting concepts more philosophically than psychologically but um and then I assume that the one referred to as female is Mari To be in white space is to be nothing. White space is emptiness, a home without warmth, a place to survive but not live. Even still, your conscience cannot be erased. It will always find a way in. Even in white space, it will take the form, and if one wills it, something will be formed to subdue it. A hanging black light bulb, the repression of an idea. Oh. Because like a light bulb above someone's head is an idea, but a black bulb is the opposite of one. That's kind of cool. 
yes. Perhaps it's time to admit that you're human, Dreamer. I've granted you knowledge, but know that I can also grant you power here. There's a challenge that will aid you greatly. It is simple without thought, and if you succeed, I will be gone as well. I offer you this sacrifice. Will you take the opportunity? I understand. Stand still, Dreamer. It's like the apple at the top of the Clyphot. And, you know, probably the biblical apple of Eden. Which may or may not have, you know, actually been an apple, but whatever. That was Sunny. That wasn't Omori. Okay. It is not alive. Were those hands there before? <laughs> like you get to the to the what is it called the forgotten lab the hidden lab the secret lab or something in undertale the game gets really weird you get to the crayon section of ib game gets weird and granted Undertale is not RPG pixel horror, but this isn't true RPG pixel horror either. It's something of a hybrid. An unhallowed burden has been placed upon you. You have the power to change the future. What will you do, Dreamer? What will you do? I'm reminded strongly of Morrowind and the nature of Dreamers. I'm the Charmat. How far will we go to save a friend? What I bring is light. What I bring is a star. Oh boy. Empty picnic basket, good sign. Deeper well. We in there. Oh, it's a friendly big old whale. How cheerful. Like, again, now we have the snapbacks from headspace to headspace. Before it's like, oh yeah, right, we exist in the real world and we're a boy called Sunny. Well, hello there, friends. The name's Humphrey. Oh, like humpback. What brings you to a humble little cave? Hello, Humphrey. We're looking for someone. Sorry for bothering you. Oh, no, not at all, children. I do love visitors. In fact, you're the second group to visit me. The first was just a girl. A loud girl with a big red bow. Doesn't that sound like someone we know? Is Sweetheart here? Where is she? Hmm, where is she? Where is she? It's on the tip of my tongue. Nyah, nyah. It's a joke, that is. She is inside me, you see. She's inside you. Why, yes, yeah, she's visiting my guest, for I am also home to a family of sea witches. Oh, of course, we had that mentioned before as well. Spend our time together chatting and chuckling. It's so fun to hear about their daily antics. Sometimes they're even so kind as to bring me my meals. Easier for them, you see, as they are closer to my belly than I. Them, In fact, I'm sure they'd love more visitors. Here, let me lower the bridge for you. My apologies. First guess, uh, first guess is causing them indigestion. Oh, for God. Nah. This happens in God of War 4 as well. Belly of the whale, you know? Very biblical we're getting here. Humphrey. 
Like earlier we had Omori eating an apple. Now we've got the belly of the whale. His belly is huge. She looks easy to get lost in here. Bet if I yell, it'd make an echo. <laughs> echo. Ah, where'd you come from? Whale comes to my lair. You surprised to see me? I'm always here. I'm inside me and all around you. I'm everywhere. Or am I just here? Ah, that's so cool, Humphrey. Wish I could do that. Kind of gross if you ask me. Wow, so rude. Hmm, there are many ways to go. Where should we even start? Left, right, up, around, does it matter? All forward, isn't it? Pick one. It's easy. I hate this. So, like, he's able to, like, control every individual cell in his body. <laughs> I've got to say, I hate being eaten. Oh, look, we're a, we're a, little, we're a little crew. Oh, that's so good. Oh, God, are those his ribs? That's not how ribs work, sir. What's that, life jam? Oh, God. It's so yuck. It's some major ick, fam. It's not you. Just die. What's with all the computers around here? It's not problem inflated. Yay. Luckily, it seems to be pretty slow, so we can probably just finish it here. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> Exploit, huh? Let's crack that open. But first... Deals extra damage to any enemy that has an emotion. That's cool. Useful, on fact. Doobie's con concoction probably best left untouched. No kidding, man. Oh, I hate the veins in the wall. Colorful potions of all shapes and sizes. Miscellaneous pustules. Check this out, humans. Just, uh, us Humphreys are strong enough to withstand a waterfall's current. Watch this. Yikes. Except for that guy, I guess. Natural selection at work. Hey, you know what? I had an idea. Gather enough Humphreys, you could use them to form a bridge. I was supposed to say that. <laughs> Questionable gelatin. You know gelatin is actually made of powdered bone goo? Why, this gelatin's delicious. What's it made out of? I'm not sure. I've just been scooping it off the walls and floor. You what? Just kidding. I made it by mixing fruit and gelatin. Okay, yeah, but what's gelatin made out of? Well, Kel, gelatin. Gelatin is made out of gelatin. It's bone goop. Well, whatever. Food's food. I guess. Hmm. Just been scooping it off of all the walls and floors. 
That's so gross. Field work in progress, don't disturb. S slash. We Humphreys in Medusa's sector pride ourselves in being the best of the best. Medusa, that means something. Medusa treats us well and feeds us regularly. Can't say the same about Marina or Molly. All the Humphrey from Marina's sector keep disappearing, so she acts keeps asking Medusa for more. I hope I'm not next. Biology is my worst subject. It's never stopped me. Oh. I thought I was supposed to hit the snubble. Oh, that's so gross. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. Hey, Humphrey, do you want to join your friend Humphrey at the waterfall? Of course I will. Thought you'd never ask. Okay, so we can go down here. Oh, there's another hump. Sure, I love making bridges. Nice. Pizzazz. Beast Trigger. I had Wendy's a few days ago. Hell yeah, man. Of all the fast foods, Wendy's might be my favorite. Wow, look at all these cool plants. Hmm, basil. Basil? That's the name of this plant. Oh, it's so cute. Reminds me of something. But I can't remember what. Pages of research in a language you can't read. So that Medusa's experiment is a 14 times 7 plus 42 divided by 11 minus 2% chance of success. Mumbo and Jumbo. Slime Bunny. Or Slunny, for short. <laughs> nice. I'm honestly pretty pleased about the, um... Uh, the length of this game. Like, there's quite a lot of content in here. That's good. A microscope. Hey, I skipped the fight. I want to do the fights because I want the XP. Watch your steps. Some of the spilled liquids are meant to be touched by humans. Gross. But yeah, I want to do the fights because I want the XP. Ooh, dynamite. But I also... Um, I also want to, like, you know, kind of breeze through them. You know, like that. <laughs> Tickle. 
Oh man, I gotta find out what the hell that does. Forces someone to be happy. Um, I don't really use that. Tickle. Tax a foe. All attacks on a foe will hit right in the heart for the turn. Ooh, wow. Cool. Give it a shot. Globe. You can tell Medusa's mad because she'll pace back and forth. She'll never yell at you, but still, it's pretty scary. Another weird wall face. Go to my calculations. Reading makes you smart. Hey, we defeated it. It also included a snot bubble, so that's cool. Oh, yeah, it's my greatest masterpiece. Ha <laughs> ha. Mumbo and or Jumbo. Nice. Perfect. I think that's pretty much the whole area, so I guess we'll... I guess we'll just walk out of here. Hey, and we're back. See, all the Humphreys are now down here. I've got to say, a weird, like... Oh man, bridge duty again. When do we get to eat? The whole belly of the whale deal where every single cell has autonomy over itself. Big waterfall? I'll race you. You'll win. Water mimic. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. Of course. French fries. <laughs> you spelled your own doom you realize so i guess the water mimic just must use whatever random wow holy shit um popping off wow use whatever items that a normal watermelon would give you when uh it's burst sorry i do not wish to fight swamp bubbles Oh, he's level 31. I just had a I just had a brain blast. If Omori is level 31 and my guess that he's the final boss is correct, does that mean that the higher level Omori gets, the harder the final boss will be? Yeesh. Okay, let's walk down here. They make a fun noise. Metal smoothie. I hate the hanging pustules. Oh, that's gross. <sighs> oh god damn it don't tell me that I'm in a this better not be a lost wood scenario here I am big Morio. in return for fighting me I bless you with great fortune Oh, 
Oh, that hurts us. Fun. Okay. Let's check out where the hip and hopping is spots happening. Calling your bluff. Can't fool me. Can't beat this hand, me. I'm going all in. Reading a book about air conditioning. It's very informative. I'm trying to relax, but I can't stop thinking about this really interesting book I read about air conditioning. <laughs> a lot of hard work goes into keeping my physique. You know what I'm crazy about? Air conditioning. Ain't it the greatest? Nice looking pool. No, that's acid. Oh my god, he's fucking dead. Bro, what the fuck? What the hell is happening? It's game. Match three guys for a prize. Oh. <laughs> I see. All right, I'll match the other three. Hey, I did it. Incoming melon. What exactly is... Is it a t-shirt or is it a... Like a plastic bag? Whole pizza? Dunion ring. Nice. Nice. So we came in from here. Okay. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> oh, I see. They want us to find as many as we can. Out for a swim? Me too. One friend has left me behind to go build a bridge. I'm going to show him by building a bigger bridge. See, Humphreys, send him my way. Humphrey, could you make us help build a bridge? A bridge, you say? Already there. You want to use me as a stepping stone to further your ambiguous agenda? Sounds like a plan. I mean, her agenda isn't ambiguous. So, bridge o'clock already? Time really flies, huh? I see. All right, we'll take another ride through this. It would make sense to go the same way first. And then, where did I diverge? Did I go left? Yes. Because there's new stuff here. An appendix. What? 
No. Does nothing. That's not an appendix. Also, um... Someone told me to check this. Because there's a bunch of cool stuff in here. Apparently I missed one of the rare encounters back all the way up there. <laughs> oh, wow. And then these are things that we're still encountering. And then these are all the bosses and mini bosses. Venture capitalist slash entrepreneur slash uh, loan shark who owns 51% of the deep well. Nothing he believes in more than a signed contract. Signed Omori. It's the boss. Love that guy. That's cool. All right. I'll be right back. Uh, Hero says, I would really appreciate it if you guys could wrap this up soon. No rush. I just think I'm getting hurt sick. Oh, we found the E. Humphrey Bridges, bridge expert, says, finally, my time has come. Elevators are bridges than bridges, but I suppose I'll play along for now. Humphrey Elevator. Elevator expert. Well, all right. A wise whale once said, yeah, okay. One of the things is that, like, things in the real world don't work like this. Like, just because something is larger doesn't mean its cells are also larger. Like, an elephant doesn't necessarily have larger cells than, like, a human. All the slime's starting to become a real hazard. Start thinking about hiring one of those cleaning Humphrey from Molly Sector. Medusa and her sisters have been researching the world for centuries. These books are the fruits of their labor. This is them having fun up there. Part-timers got it easy. A menorah. No matter how many times I do this experiment, it never turns out how it's supposed to. Time to refer back to the manual. Working hard, bud, huh? Confetti. Uh, yeah. My, it smells absolutely horrendous in here. How much longer is this going to take? My nose is quite sensitive, you know. You'll get used to the smell. Now hush, doll. I'm working. And it is not done. Uh, finally. Hello, my perfect suitor. Wake up. Don't touch the glass, you buffoon. You ruin the experiment. Well, I never. Oh god. My word. Experiment turned out greater than I'd ever expected. Take a look, doll. The results are perfect. Behold, an absolutely perfect version of yourself. Which means that she's better than the original. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, I don't like her. What do you say? Have I heard you correctly? She's everything you asked for and more. Are you simpleton? It's nothing more perfect than me, but I see you don't understand that. Nothing more than a hack. This is a humongous waste of my time. I'm storming off. Oh, I've had enough of your nonsense. Claire or not, you've really struck my last nerve. Who taught you how to run your mouth like that? Excuse me, this is a waste of my precious energy. I have more important matters to attend to. Don't you dare walk off first. I'm the one who's supposed to storm off.
AKA Slime Girl's Lair. I guess I'm what you humans call the elevator. Only take one at a time. Ah, key card. Oh, then we just get skipped right back here so we don't have to go all the way back. That's rather convenient. Cool. hate this. Empty cages. Good sign. Fucking dock again. Looks like a job for Aubrey. Oh god. Ah, I see. Oh, this sounds really bad. Life gym. Strange growth. Will regenerate after being smashed. Me too, strange growth. Shh. Shake the cage. Unintelli intelligent growth will conveniently transform into a bridge. Gross. It's still got all the whimsy of normal Omori, just it is gross. Receptionist Humphrey. Welcome. Marina's not seeing anyone. If you're enjoying the exhibit, feel free to call into a cage and wait for the next available experiment. You'll know when the screaming stops. I want some pork. We've got some leftover food. Fuchsia. I'm Marina's first experiment. She made me out of sin and fruit when she was a baby. <laughs> that tickles. A cartwheel. Box of goo. Table covered in goo. Hard and brittle leaves. Books in a language we can't read. Let's party, tall sprout mole. Sprout mole? Sorry. <laughs> Laser, huh? Right, we can just clown on this fool. Nice. A microscope. Remnants of an old office. <laughs> How wonderful. Try this. See what that does. Normally it isn't that close. Oops. Jesus. That uh wasn't quite the plan, huh? Last resort. Sorry, my brother texted me for some reason. Dazzle. Nice. What about you, Orbs? Deals damage based on Aubrey's heart, but Aubrey becomes toast. Neat.
<laughs> now going back then. Cool. Combo meal. Alright, we're done here. Perfect. I'm Marinus, this guy. Clan rocks when she was a baby. Hmm, poking school, but I like high fives better. Handshakes better as well. A science mouse? Oh, a lab rat, of course. How could I have been so foolish? Yeah, most people, I realized, have uh, their cameras much closer. And I was like, oh, huh. Maybe I should do that. And of course, I did it right in the middle of an episode instead of like... She made me out of a rubber glove. Poor you knew. Who did that? Show yourselves. Plans for a successful experiment. Hello. Questionable gelatin. Dang, what happened here? The place is a huge mess. Achoo. The furniture's dusty. It's been like this for a while. Looks like it used to be an office. Wasn't this supposed to be a lair full of sea witches? None of this stuff looks witchy. I mean, we're basing this off the sweetheart sources. I don't know if I would trust her, much less her sources. We gotta stop her. Up to no good. We do? I mean, we mind our own business. <laughs> Is that what we're doing now? Protecting the world from evil? How fun. Instead of to do a sweetheart. Have you met her? She is evil. Fair point. Sorry, I wanted to fix that. Well, I guess someone's got to do it. I don't know if we've ever talked to Mori as hero. Now, Mori, know what you're thinking. You're thinking to yourself, Wow, sis, weird place to set up a picnic. Let me tell you. Maybe you recommended to only set up picnics in normal places like forest campsites, but what's the fun in that? What if I want to study the anatomy of a whale while I eat? Then what? Expand your mind. I need to set an example for my sometimes boring little brother. Hey there, handsome. Or maybe you prefer what's cooking, good looking. Alright, in that case, we have. Oh, does that mean. Does that mean she kind of likes him back? Oh no, she's dead. Can't like someone if you're dead. Apple fly. Dirty apples when she was a child. Uh oh. Enough. Bzzz. Ooh, yeah. I don't like that. Ugh. It's disgusting, sir. Oh, man. Get him, Cal. Yeah, let's give this a shot, then. I never want to use my, my juice, you know? I always feel like I want to save it. Right. Broken computer. I'm the fifth experiment. Burro. He's a donkey and he's named Burro. I wonder why. Cardboard and candy when she was a child. Oh, he was a pinata. That's not the right noise.
Ooh, my candies. <laughs> Nothing but gross. Whole chicken. I wonder what the ships are for this game. Because I, I, I feel pretty pretty clear in saying that Aubrey and Cal are probably shipped together. I am the sixth. Balloons and magic when she was a teenager. Failed experiment. Old office. Seventh, Sully. Oh, Sully the Seagull. The numbers get muddy at this point. Birds when she was a teenager. This makes me rife with anger. Waste. 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 Office remnants. I knew I should have sent this thing back up. It's interesting because they force you to basically make yourself go to a point of no return. Because, like, now we cannot go back that way. Even though we already couldn't go back that way down there. But yeah, I imagine Aubrey slash Omori is a ship. And maybe Sunny for the same reason. Um, but then if we're shipping Sunny slash Amori with Biesel, maybe, you know, we leave Aubrey Cal open, you know? Best left untouched. You said it, man. Parsnip. I'm the eighth, probably. Moss and sprouts. Ugh. Hey look, it's a flower crown. Oh no, all the flowers are bruised up. It looks familiar. I wonder who this belongs to. Should we try to return it? It's in bad condition. I don't think anyone would want something like that. You're probably right. Cal, what'd you do that for? It's fine. I wonder what something as bruised up as that. But you used to belong to someone. Kicking it off a cliff is mean. Why? Throw back. Calm down, you two. Cal, apologize to Aubrey. Fine. Sorry, Aubrey. Apology not accepted. <laughs> Why bother, you know? <laughs> All right. God, what is with this place? <laughs> uh huh. God, there's so many goo tubes. 667th, don't poke the glass. Mr. Bird, question mark? Oh, God. Oh, 
Jesus. That's a... Here we go. Oh, he, he floats. Crap. Crap. Shit, man, that thing isn't early. All right, I get it now. Go! Oh, fuck. Hey, so I've done a few attempts, and mostly I seem to just get a uh, plain old stuck. This is about where I'm at. that you can bop this guy send him over here you can also send him straight back also run down here and bop that fella sends him oh he makes a bridge now Oh, good. I like the spot. Oh. Go, 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 obs. Go. <laughs> the music is still going. Oh, sweet Jesus. So, yeah, it looks like they tried to make a... Uh... <gasps> Perfect. My duty has been fulfilled. Oh, God, now he's going to take her out of the lift off. For God's sake. All right, yeah, so. Can we now explore freely down here? Heard there were delicious watermelons in here, so I ate them. Don't tell me. You can't go back and get the watermelons. You fuck. All right, um, I'm going to hit the next room and then see whatever it is, and then I'm going to cut the episode, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I apologize to inform that there will be a slight break between this episode and the next episode of Omori. Ugh, this place is disgusting. What exactly is it you do here? It's not your business, lady. Sit back and relax. Ugh, I feel nauseous. So I wonder if the plan has succeeded. Like, already. Uh, whoops. Well, that'll do, I guess. It's done. One perfect suitor coming right up. Say hello to your soulmate. Hello. Mutant heart. Is this some kind of joke? What do you take me for? I am ten to- A no, hundred times more beautiful than that thing. This point would be greatly. I'm storming off. Hey, what the heck? Can't just storm off, lady. Where's my money? Alright. Cool. So that's one then. Where's down? Down is just straight out. Alright. 
in that case, um, I'll do a little savey sue. Yeah. And I'll cut the episode. Uh, this has been Omori. Thank you guys for coming by. I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. Bye.